Alright, welcome! We are starting with the pulling. I'm gonna be playing Tree and Protector, so... Alright, let's go into the battle. I could probably pull this one, but uh, there are two people here, so I think I'm gonna kind of join him into the battle. Alright, I'm gonna pull the next one. Yeah, Tree and Protector... He is the strongest, I strongest right now, I feel, support or anything you can actually have in a game from anything, okay? So, the thing about Trim Protector at this point, they were buffing him throughout, like, four patches, and I feel we got to the point, and you will have that with every single hero, you will be kind of a overdoing the, you know, the upgrades and everything. You will be giving him too much, and I think we already are past that point with the Trim Protector. I'm sorry about the the stops, but you know I need to kind of check my team. Uh, that's the hero. You need to check your team, cast the heal, and that's kind of it. See, like he's winning against two because I'm giving him the shield. <laughs> that seems like a pretty good ability to have. All right, and of course I need to control this. You know, it's for control, like map control. It definitely requires something. So. That could be one of the things why, you know, noobs, let's say, wouldn't play this, necessarily. Right, then I can just jump into them. I can punch them because my damage is like twice what they have, so it's fairly easy to actually initiate on them like that. Alright. Punch, punch, punch. Don't be crazy about this. So, Trim Protector, I think I'm gonna make a video kind of explaining my problem with the hero. Um, the problem, I feel, is just, you know, it's pretty simple. Alright, so second level of this. Patch is here. Alright, let's see. I think we can actually get this. She activated the sword then later, so I think this could be a very easy kill. Double kill. Nice one. And nice one. I'm still keeping eye on the minimap for the bot lane, so it is kind of about the control and everything. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't think that's the, that's the whole story. Alright, I'm gonna give him shield. I'm gonna get boots myself. I'm gonna get actually arcane boots. My problem with this hero is you can play him in the jungle. You can play him uh, on hard lane because like what could actually stop you on a hard lane? Nothing. Nothing can actually stop you on a hard lane because you have great, great stats. You look at that, like thousand HP I will have with no items. It's like amazing, absolutely stat wise. So everything about this hero is absolutely amazing right now. And yeah, that's that's gonna be happening. But the problem is that this is like the most boring hero to play, I feel, from my perspective at least. <laughs> the shit that he does... I'm gonna, by the way, look at the mid because he's kind of losing, I don't know why. Um, the thing kind of he does from nothing. Like, I don't have to do anything and I, I can be like extremely effective. That's my problem. Like, I don't have to move from the top lane to, uh, to be effective. And also, I can heal the towers. Like, this game may as well end up being the classic game against Rain Protector that every single tower has full HPs of ours, and every single tower is standing. Just may as well be that. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Of course, right now they are gonna be kinda intercepting the pool, I feel. Maybe not. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> the game just lagged. <laughs> the game lagged, right? It was not me. He was in that position. There was no, there was no stun from center because he gets back to the position of, you know, um, not like this. I was stuck in that position for some time. The game was stuck clearly. Um, that was strange. I have to say, really strange. But it's okay. You know, I, I, if Invoker kills me. Everybody can kill me seven times, ten times. Doesn't matter, okay? Doesn't matter with this hero. And I can make the easiest lane for my bot lane. I actually need to check the mid, because this hero's like, seems to be defeating the our hero. The our hero. Unfortunately, he had invis, so you know, I can't really inter and anticipate that um, that he's gonna have invis. I'm gonna buy wards, I feel. So I'm gonna be supportive to the tree and protector. And, you know, I think people might want to see, let's say, like a carry train protector, but there's no point. There's no point doing that because you're just good or best with a living sheep, with a living armor. That's your... that's your gameplay. Living armor. That's your the main thing and the best thing. So, you can just gain levels over some time. The living armor is amazing on level 1 too, so 
You can just gain levels and destroy. Alright. We can upgrade the courier first, though. Alright, I'm gonna be ready for the bottom. For the living armor. I'm gonna pull this. It's interesting that he's pushing so much. He's actually giving me kind of a... Alright, I'm gonna give him the shield right now. The rod, of course, I don't know if the rod is removing it. That's kind of the thing that I don't really know. I can right now give them the shield. Your middle tower is under attack. I didn't get, I didn't have the shield. You know, 10 seconds for these type of fights, like they chose to go after the second guy, so that was not really, you know, my fault, let's say, but they chose to get, you know, to get the other guy, so that was unfortunate for them. I'm gonna, oops. Yeah, sure, that's how it works. No. He does have... Careful. There's an asshole. Unfortunately, he's very fast with the face boots. He could get him, technically. Yes, I think he could. Well, <laughs> that was not so good, but okay. Alright. Of course, checking the towers, so the mid tower is in trouble a little bit, a little bit, so I'm gonna put... Of course, it's kind of a trait, you have to, you know, think about this, because... This could cost you some certain hero on the map, if you're not gonna be, you know, really noticing the details and everything. So, so far my pulling actually worked pretty well, <laughs> because we are killing the opponent team while I'm pulling. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna heal the mid tower. Right now. We have 14 seconds, I think that's like just enough time. He's an idiot. That Weaver is an idiot. There's a Pachin in Invis, yet he initiates on them solo, come on. Like I can't babysit him. Your bottom tower is under attack. Again he's here. I need to put it on myself. Your bottom tower yeah, that's is the reason. Attack. Like, I don't know what he's trying to do, but it's not gonna work. You're gonna be okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the base. I'm actually gonna buy all the items that, that we need. Let's see. He should have. Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh! 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 This is disastrous. <laughs> Let's give him the shield. Look at the damage. Like, he has, you know, 120 damage. Like, that's a big difference. Alright, let's go back to the game. Sorry, main base. Buy some gadgets. Okay, don't be crazy, people. Alright, I'm gonna work on bottom and then coming to, to a top. You know, train protector, you usually will have, will have one of the worst stats in the game, but... That's just the visuals. Like, everything else is gonna be, like, amazing. Okay, let's get this. Let's see, mid tower, we can actually heal it right now, there's nothing happening. I think, I'm comfortable saying, if we don't do, like, a lot of mistakes, I can keep every single tower up 100%. Or at 100%, uh, at, at 100%. we'll see. <laughs> I, I don't think it's, it's difficult, really. I think you could get a kill there. I can't really get away from this. Like, some things of course do go, it blocks just some certain damage. So, you know, if he's gonna be like that, then obviously I'm not gonna kill him. Alright, nice. So, you know, Sunstrike, like, fully loaded, it's gonna go through very easily. It's not gonna stop everything. Your tower is under okay, I don't think I can actually keep the bot tower. If nobody's gonna be there, I don't think I can keep it yes, alive. Yes. It's a full tower. 
Okay. I can get there too. It's not really a problem. Your bottom tower is under attack. I think you can keep that. Yeah, but the gameplay, like, that's why I don't like to play him. He actually got the kill there. <laughs> Which is funny. Alright, here we go. This is not really a great disposition for us. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. He shouldn't be like that just in front of theirs. Okay, let's see the tower. It's huge heal, by the way, it's huge heal. Of course it doesn't work so well when they're attacking it, because obviously it's kind of nullified. Technically this could be really bad. It is bad. I don't know why is he there, like obviously they are this active. <laughs> you know. Okay. What? What? No fucking way he did that. Come on, bro. Ugh. Yeah, we should blow yourself up. We actually get name like that. Fuck him. Honestly, fuck him. Alright. The, the bad thing for them is they really lost. <laughs> they are committing five heroes for bottom. Five heroes for bottom. And they can't get the tower. They can't. It's gonna be standing here forever. I'm not gonna this tower or let this tower to go down. It was you fucking idiot. It was he destroyed the trees. Is he like really serious about this? Like he has no idea what just happened. He has no idea. <laughs> Which you can kind of guess, I guess, from you know what he's doing on the bottom, or what he would be doing on the bottom without that shield. That's kind of the thing. He wouldn't have anything. Anything. Okay, let's get this. Fate time. <laughs> Was already in Invis. That's the point. Alright, I'm gonna leave. He's a. Oh my god. Can't really, unfortunately. He's got double hits. Should be okay. Yep. That Nevermore. He had to see. It. He had to see the. The guy teeping because they were creeps. And it's, you know, daylight. So clearly, he had to see it. So I don't know what happened there. Okay, I can leave this lane C. I, I cast it like maybe five of these here, which is, you know, for what mana? 25, so I lost over time region, of course. I lost nothing for that much. It's just almost stupid. <laughs> he could get it there. I don't think he's gonna get, he's not gonna get it. Okay, this is healed. This is... Nice, he actually got it. That's a kill because he doesn't have much. Alrighty. So every single tower at this point is at 100%, even though they push pretty effectively, like in the, you know, the like 10 minute mark. Now, nothing. <laughs> nothing happened basically from our th this perspective. Okay, I want to kind of heal him, but... The top tower will be healed in a second, so I'm gonna push the top tower of theirs. It's interesting because I believe really this guy picked against me. I believe he was like, okay, I'm gonna pick this. I think he's dead, by the way, because the ult and everything. Alright, he's not dead. Nice. Oh, he died. How he could die, that's kind of a question for me, but okay. Okay, I need to get those arcane boots. There we go. You know, carry tree and protector, as I said, like, there's no point because you can be the best player in your team or for your team. I think that's kind of a better stating it. For your team. Um, as a just, well, anything. You can, from a jungle, you can jungle the easy camp. It's okay to, to have, like, level 3. That's. <laughs> That's, I think, the problem. He can go from... He, I could be stacking Ancients for the Gyrocopter throughout the whole game, and I would be really effective for my team. Which, I feel, is a bullshit. Okay. I'm gonna push the mid-tower, because everybody is on the bottom, obviously. I'm 
gonna give him the shield. Because he's got Shadow Blade, I think he should be fine. Can't give him the shield. He should Shadow Blade into the corner, but... It's really fucking bad. <laughs> I think the execution is kind of a... Um, not, not perfect, not perfect. Because, like, they didn't really have anything to kill them with. So it's kind of a strange to see that. Apparently he doesn't want to do anything with me. Let's see, all the towers standing very much so. Okay, where's Invoker? On the top lane? Okay. And that's kind of the gameplay, like, I don't need any items. I don't need any items. Okay, let's see on the bottom. It's kind of interesting, I think, for the viewers, that you can kind of track what I'm doing. Of course, it's gonna remove the shield in a second. Yeah, clearly. Why are they doing this? Like, <laughs> it almost seems like they are really mentally challenged there, because this is not necessary to do that, obviously. This is a kill. Pretty easy one. He didn't have any any NH souls, as you can see. So. I just ate it all day, did absolutely nothing to me. Alright. Yeah, I feel, you know, there could be just Weaver on the bot lane and he's gonna be effective, he can get the XP's. These guys are now, you know, three guys, four guys on the bot lane. That means that nobody's getting XP's for, 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 from them. That's a huge deal, that nobody's getting anything. And our Alchemy is a solo, she's kind of a solo, so it definitely is working out for us. Nobody necessarily needs to be here, because the tower is not going to go down again. Get the shield. Alright, I got decent stats, actually. 3-2-2, two, two. usually I have like 0-something-0, zero zero because this is like the only damage source of yours. Of course, auto attack is really strong, but still. In a sense of, you know, like a... Easy, easy things to attack with. Okay. We could get more maybe the bot tower, because right now everybody is mid, it seems. <laughs> they are switching. They are switching it. Not necessarily the best way, but it's okay, I guess. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna do maybe a test, but uh, of course I would need to, like, you know, put a lot of time into it with the tree and protector, because I really want to kind of show you, because yes, you could be like in competitive, it's played, it's banned, it's picked, of course it is. Like, that's the point of the hero, but you have many, 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 many games in the public too. And public is being affected maybe a little bit more than, com oh sorry, not a little bit, it is being affected more than competitive. Because in a... Because in a competitive, you know, there's a limitations of amount of games that there is. There can be, you know, if I'm gonna say 10,000 competitive game a year, that's, you know, too much, obviously. But if it was that, 10,000 games are played in, you know, a few hours in Dota 2. Okay, I gave, gave him the kill, because, you know, Patch, he operates better with kills, obviously. As you know, if you have a good start with the patch, a lot of kills in the beginning, it kind of a, you know, steamers rolls, your confidence is up, so that definitely helps to get kills I, for as a patch. For me, at least. Okay. So I'm gonna do a test if I'm gonna lose a game, for example, in like 10 games, let's say. In a public matchmaking, no fucking anything else. I'm gonna do a test. If I'm gonna lose a single game as this hero in 10 games, because you know I don't want to put too much time into it, but still I want to put uh, some time into it. Okay, I would like to get maybe dagger in this one. Let's actually start with the dagger. It's gonna be pretty good. Of course, the initiation walking in it's fairly awkward, so <laughs> dagger is definitely gonna help. I can help him there. <clears throat> you know, being shackled is not really the way to go.
No! <laughs> what else I could have done? Heal him? I actually didn't have that cooldown even, so... This was like a 100% maximum of what I could do. Because this of course cancels their attack in the first place, so... Um, well... <laughs> I'm gonna take the dagger. I need actually full mana right now. Nice. Let's see the towers. Full HPs. Ooh, we can heal this. I'm kind of wondering if I should... I think she should be okay. Even though if they gain her, like she has no HPs. 8, a 7, 2, it's nothing, so... I don't think it would help my heal. Or, you know, not heal, the shield. Okay, let's get some words. And let's see... Top lane... Actually not. So right now, we're on 22 minutes in. We have a pretty decent amount of towers. Every single of our tower is at full HPs. Yep, that's the hero. And that's the thing, like, no cooldown, no mana requirement. Like, where's the negative about this hero? Right now. I think it's just kind of a depression with the Trim Protector, because I feel somebody really likes the hero, or the, you know, idea about the hero. But, because this hero, if I would make a... If you want to... If you want me to make the history, which I was making the history videos for heroes, again, I could for this hero, because he was changed a lot. I definitely have pretty decent memories with the... Oh, shit. <laughs> he, um, suspects something? I'm not so sure about this. There's a top lane fucking guy. I think there's more people coming there. Yep, there I get there they are. Should I ulti for this one? Whoa! Whoa, number two! Oh my god. Well, that didn't work out so well. Yeah, fuck him now. Too bad I don't have mana for this. He's gonna ult me. I can tell his intentions. Piece of shit nickname. I still hate him for the nickname. I think he should be fucking embarrassed by that. But where's uh, our enchantress apparently? She's yeah. not playing. Yay. Oh, this is okay. Like, I actually got killing spray if I'm mistaken. <laughs> Which usually doesn't happen, I usually am at, like, really bad score, but, you know, healing-wise or protection-wise, soaked, I, I would like to see, like, damage soaked, or protected. You know, 10,000. <laughs> Every tower, full HPs. Oh, we have a work in front of us. Even mid. And we are slacking on this one. The train protected the builder. I'm slacking on this one. So we need to wait for the enchantress to connect back, and yeah. <clears throat> By the way, I totally understand that playing Train Protector is fairly annoying to play against. And I feel even watch. I don't like him <laughs> to play, but I feel I need to address some certain heroes that I feel are just ridiculous. But this one is definitely at that category. Ridiculous. Okay. Let's, let's stop rebuilding shit. Get it. Nope. Too bad. Too bad I'm playing this hero. It's kinda sad because <clears throat> Enchanta definitely is farmed fairly nicely. Plus she is Midas, so <laughs> we better if she, you know was in the game. Ah oh, shit! The mediocre that killed us. We actually have to wait for this one. The mediocre that killed us. I'm very sad about this. 
too bad I'm playing Trim Protector, so I don't care. <laughs> I don't need to care anymore. He is actually MKB first item. That's interesting. He really relies, I think, on my shield. Okay, he wants that shield all the time at this point. You can see from the build, it's like, no, <laughs> there's no exception. You need to give him the shield. Alright, come on, people. Out of plate. Really annoyance. Let's reconnect that again, nice. Should be just attacking. What is he doing? I don't know. Okay, no hook. No hook.com or whatever. He joined. Let's get into it. Your middle tower is under attack. That's you know, that's I guess we can we can do this, I don't know. <laughs> I would rather fucking kill the Nevermore, which is you know, an idiot. For being there still. Normally he would be dead, but uh, apparently we are doing trick shots. Trick shots. Ooh. I can't really get there. You know what? He's got a lot of region as a alchemist, so let's heal the tower first. Into forest. Finally, I can get some words going. You know, that's the thing. I'm like really bored, like player wise. Like, I, I don't like this. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I think it's important to kind of show some certain problem when there's a problem. You wanna go there? Yeah, that's exactly what's gonna fucking happen, bro. Nice. In and out in Invis. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Alright, pretty cool. You know, he's got ages, but why bother? Like, there was not, this was not action for the ages. Definitely not. Alright, let's actually get the tower again going. Oh, you want to Invis? I would bet. Camouflage. They have pretty good pick against me, against the shield. It's, you know, I think he actually is visible at this point. The problem is, I can't really help him um, in any way. He's the one with big items. Alright. But then again, we are pushing all the towers and everything. I'm still healing our towers, so, you know, we are only winning with this one. <laughs> I think the goal is gonna happen. And it's not, you know, it's not hard goal. Definitely not. Did he do have worse? Of course he does. This is slightly annoying. That is not gonna work, bro. Yeah, that is clearly... He's, he gonna kill Invoker, but that's it, actually. I don't have any mana left. Hmm. Apparently... <laughs> like, she has 900 HPs. Heart of Defiance, or Hood of Defiance, but 900 HPs, and she survived. <laughs> okay, whatever. That could be classified as a cheating, but okay. Let's just go with that, I guess. Oh, we can actually get the tower on the top lane. Pretty good. So right now we have, yeah, still all the towers. I'm gonna, you know, work um, to the point of them being fully healed in the end, so don't worry. They are gonna be fully healed. We can actually drop this because uh, in, uh, Nevermore is fairly fast with the Shadow Blade. Ooh. That could work. Let's see. Okay, it worked. <laughs> I was thinking there could be somebody... what? We can't really kill that guy.
He's got the ages. He's got the kill. Okay, very nice. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, give me that. You could get the urn on me, but okay. <laughs> um, just a thought, you know, just healing everybody since the beginning, but no, let's just get into it. See, people are leaving already. And I have a job to do, top lane. Oh nope, my tower is being affected at this point. He actually reconnected back to the game. Well, too bad. Probably some strike, which is totally guaranteed. And should be happening, by the way. <laughs> Four. Just a second, just a second. Alrighty. So let's finish the game. You know, this is probably a classic game in the beginning. My, my biggest problem, I think it doesn't have to be global in my perspective. Of course, it's just gonna make the hero not played at all. So there are like a two sides of this. Like, the hero will be played. If this is like, if, if it's this good, the hero will be played. If it's just slightly different or slightly not that amazing, I don't think this hero will be played at all. So. There are kind of two sides. If you want this hero to be played, you need to kind of keep it, honestly. So, I don't know. You know, from my perspective, it is too much. I think a lot of people in the public can kind of agree. In a competitive, it depends. Um, they tend to, you know, have it a little bit later than we. This ridiculousness, because obviously they play less games than we do. We play, you know, 10,000 games a day. They play way less than them. That's it. Every single tower is full HP 100%, so the goal is achieved. Unfortunately for us, <laughs> this was a tree and protector, so there's only a few things you can do. I wouldn't even think about getting uh, him some carry items. Just no need. There's no need. The worst stats in the game, probably. I mean, I except the Taliban guy. But then again, it's a Taliban you know, name, so you would expect that, I guess. Um, the worst, you know, level 13. But it's ridiculously good still, so... Yeah, that's the hero, Gem Protector. That is pretty classic gameplay. I think I'm gonna make a video about him, so I kind of wanted some gameplay, like a recent gameplay of how he can be played. I could be hard lane, I could be jungle, I could be anywhere, and I would be still very effective for my team because of the shield, so... That's kind of unfortunate, um, but what to do with it, you know? It's, it's a double-edged sword, because nobody's gonna play him at all when they're gonna change this, if they're gonna change this. So that's it, thanks for watching, and that's it.